Hello everyone and welcome to today's session about Big Blue Button and how to view the recordings. I'm going to show you how to create it and how to go about recording a session and then viewing the recording. So we're going to get started with a course by going into Notice Editing is turned on. We're going to go to Add an Activity or Resource go to big blue button which is an activity click on it give it a title notice room with recordings give it a title i'm going to call this demo 2 room settings notice you can also send a message a welcome message recording view is set up by the system and then all users could be moderators if you'd like that session timing we're going to start now and we'll end in two minutes that should be enough let's make it three and then no restrictions save and display this is Moodle 4 we get this message 60 sec minutes 25 participants and the recordings will expire after seven days and you cannot download them Next, we're going to go into the room is ready. Notice all the information that I've added is right here, just in case I missed anything or I'd like to edit. The, if you'd like to edit, you simply go back into the settings, but actually you don't have to go back on this theme for a Moodle 4. You just go into settings and you set it up for yourself. I'm going to click on join. We're the only ones here because this is a demo and wait for it to come up. It's going to ask us to check our microphone. So let's do that now. If you don't hear anything, that means that you need to set it up. So let's know. So let's make sure that it's set up and see if we can play the sound. I'm using screencast to manage. Let me turn on the audio so and we are uh, now recording. We can have a different listen to audio. my voice. Okay. You have to do this just before you record. You need to turn it on. So yes, everything is fine. You can turn on my audio and screen share if I wish. Let me click on start recording. Start recording. Yes. So we are now recording. We can have a different slide up. Okay, or we can have a whiteboard. Let's clear the chat if we don't want it. We can also get rid of it. Get rid of the chat. And everything that's there so we only have the whiteboard and then we can make it full screen or minimize it notice at the top lots of information here make the full screen about help and so on okay i think that our uh, conference our webinar our meeting is up right it's 6 19 but it's still going to go on because we're still here and we are in control. So even if you set it up, don't worry about it. You will not lose anything. Notice at the bottom left, you can also start a poll, manage presentations, share an external video, or select a random user. I don't have any users right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording. There we are. Stop. Now it says here, pause recording. I want to start. Are you sure you want to pause the recording? You can zoom by redirecting. No, because I want to stop it. Pause recording. You cannot stop it. What you can do is you can leave the meeting and then you can decide this was wonderful. I don't think it was wonderful. So there we go. You have logged out of the conference. Now, I set it up to uh, 619, but the join is still there, which means that participants can come back and rejoin. 
or I can go back and rejoin because everything is still going on. Notice the recording is still going on, but I want to stop it. So what do I do? You can never stop it. What you need to do is to go to the top right. Notice right here at the top and open this up, this pop-up and go to end meeting. If you missed this, uh, let me show it to you again. All right, so we go to the three dots, three dots on the top right over here. Okay, it was there, you saw it, right? Three dots. We're gonna click on the three dots and then we get options and the options are end meeting. I'm gonna click on end meeting as opposed to leave. So this is where you stop it. Are you sure you wanna end the meeting? Yes. And then you can add feedback if you like. Okay, so, uh, and then notice now it says end session. Okay, so if you click on the end session, there we are. And that's the final step. Really? End the session? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, that's the only way you're going to get the recording. So make sure you do that. All right, now we're waiting for the recording. And we'll time that to see how long it takes. It took a couple of um, minutes. Not really long, so it's actually the instant. Notice the duration is here. Now, how do you know that the recording is here? You go to presentation. That is your recording. It'll say presentation. It'll not say recording. And you have the word playback. That's the name. I added no description. So let's open it up and hear what it sounds like. Click on presentation. It opens up in the new window. Notice it's opening up. And there it is. That was the recording. And that's it. Um, notice you're in a different window. So if you want to go back, you need to go back to the demo. So it opens up in a completely different window. Notice I've got two windows open here. Uh, because every time you click on the presentation, it takes you there. If you click on the demo, you won't get anything. Notice you can change the title. You can still edit, which is great, right? You can either edit here, the description and the title, or you can go into settings and edit the whole thing. And that's it. I hope this has been of help. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Big blue button is amazing, and I think it's great that Moodle and Big Blue Button have joined forces and are providing all of this for free. So enjoy and let me know how you find it. Bye for now.